Hello everyone and welcome to Cam Tai Handmade Creations and another tutorial, a quick tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the wave stitch. So I have a simple four, category four soft red heart yarn in pink and I have my five millimeter hook. We're going to go ahead and start with our slip knot and I'm going to make 20 uh, chains for this pattern plus four. You must do this in a multiple of 10. So if you do 20 or 30 or four stitches, 40 stitches, you want to make sure that at the end of those chains, you put four additional chains. So I'm going to make 20 chains plus four. And when I come back, I'll have 24 chains. So I am back and I have 24 chains, which is my 20 base chain and my four additional chains. I'm going to go ahead and skip three chains and double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. This chain will count as a double crochet. Now I'm going to make an additional three double crochets across one in each stitch. When you're done, you should have five double crochets going across and that includes that first chain that you made that does count as a double crochet. So we have five double crochets going across, including that chain you made in the beginning. Now we're going to work on the valley portion of this project of this this stitch and basically what it is is just decreasing your stitches so i'm going to show you how to do that you're going to yarn over go into your next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over again and pull through two loops yarn over go into your next loop your next stitch yarn over and pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two loops only. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, go into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And then finally, yarn over and pull through all four of your loops. There's no need to chain, you just continue on doing your stitches. So in the next stitches, the next three stitches, we will put one double crochet. That's one. This is two. And three. So now we're going into the portion where we're going to make the valley which is going to go up the peak i'm sorry the peak of this stitch so to make your peak you're going to put three double crochets into one stitch there's one double crochet two double crochets and three into one loop that's going to give you your peak for this stitch. As you can see, it's already be beginning to take form. So since we've made those three double crochets, now we're going to make one double crochet into each of the next three chains. So this is two and this is the third double crochet. So now we go back into our valley portion, which is the dip, which is the three double crochets, uh, double, the three double crochets together. So we're going to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Make sure that you're keeping in order of your pattern. You will have your valley first, then you'll have your increase and then back down into your valley. So we're going to make this valley here and go ahead and yarn over. Go into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through two. Yarn over again, go into your next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That gives you three loops on your hook. 
yarn over again, go into this last one, yarn over again, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. Now we're going back into the one double crochet for the next three stitches. This is one, two, and three. And for your final stitch, your last stitch, you should have one stitch left. If you did this correctly, one stitch should be left. And in that final stitch, you will put two double crochets. This is going to give you five double crochets at the end of this row. Just like it was in the beginning, there was five double crochets. If you do not have that, then you are missing a stitch. You've either skipped the stitch or just forgot to, yeah, you skipped the stitch. So you have to go back and start over. So now we're going to move on to the next row. We're going to chain three and turn our work. And we're just repeating the same things that we did in the first row. We're repeating it for the second row. As you can see, it's already becoming very detailed. So let's begin with our first row. We're going to go ahead and we have that chain three. That counts as a double crochet. We're going to go into the bottom stitch of this double crochet here and make another double crochet. Now we're going to make three more double crochets. One. Two. And three. This is going to give our give us our five double crochets, just like in the beginning. That first chain counts as a double crochet. Now we're going back into our valley, and you can always tell you're doing it correctly because right where you start to do your valley is where the valley from the beginning row is. So go into that first stitch, go into that next stitch. This is a part of your dip, a part of the valley where we're going to double crochet three together. So we're going to go into the next stitch, go ahead and yarn over, go into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two stitches, yarn over again, go right into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop and pull through two. Yarn over for the final time, go into the next stitch, Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over again, and pull through all four of your loops. And just continue making your way down. Go into the next stitch with a double crochet. We're going to do three double crochets going across. That's one, one double crochet into each of these stitches. This is two. And this is three. So now we're back at the portion where we're going to do another, we're going to do an increase now. This is the peak portion of the wave stitch. So we're going to put three double crochets into that. And you can always tell you're in the right place because you're putting your three double crochets into that middle stitch from the previous row of the three double crochets. I hope that makes sense. Make your three double crochets in that one stitch. Keep going along and make one double crochet into the next three stitches. And that's pretty much the whole pattern. You make your three double crochets, you make your valley stitch, three double crochets, you make your peak stitch. So now we're going into that dip again, where we're making our valley again. So we're double crocheting three together. Yarn over, go into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop and pull through two. Yarn over again, go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop and pull through two. That will give you three stitches. Go into the next one. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over again and pull through all four. 
and just keep making your waves, your up and down patterns as you go along. After we've done this decrease here with these three double crochets, we're going to make another three double crochets across. Let's make those three double crochets going across. Just one double crochet into the next three. That's one. This is two. And this is three. Now for your last double crochet, which is that chain from the previous row, you want to put two double crochets into that top stitch, the top chain of that stitch. Put two double crochets in there. That will give you five double crochets at the end of the row. That should always be that way. Five double crochets in the beginning and you end off with five double crochets at the end. Very nice. Um, you can see the wave pattern as you go through. And the longer you make, the longer you make it, the more detail you will see. So just continue practicing and continue going over your wave stitch. I want to thank you for watching on today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope I didn't go too fast for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to practice your stitches. Have a great day and happy holidays. Bye-bye.